and then we'll get started. Welcome to Infraspace, a game about automation, infrastructure, and another one in which I have some idea of what's going on around me. We're going to begin uh, just by placing a lot of roads and trying to get a factory going. Um, this game is still pretty deep into early access, though I should probably say. I'm going to just do this as a big asterisk before I start because the game is currently this far back. I don't know when people will be watching this but they're still taking votes on things. I cast my votes. I want there to be a large endgame project, but I like this type of thing. This is a great use of early access. I think, uh, bravo, more of that. So let's begin just by placing an unnecessarily long road. Um, again, I'd be lying if I told you that I had much of an idea of what's going on, uh, on around me, but I, I've gotten uh, enough to get a few colonists in and some research going. It's a little bit straightforward, the gameplay loop, but I've seen some crazy things being built, like uh, uh, one channel I've watched with this is uh, Real Civil Engineer. He's done a, a very nice job of just building some insane, absurd contraptions. So I thought that looks interesting. Why don't I give that a try? And it looks like I already built the roads wrong, so uh, whoops. But you need to build things near each other, so clearly that was wrong, but we just need to connect the, all of this to this. But we're going to try to use all of the lessons that we learned in Factorio and just apply them to this, and hopefully something will go right. Uh, and we'll have some sort of colony. Now we get to start off with, whoops, we did uh, sulfur mines, but we could do sand mines anywhere. So I guess let's just put those in the sand, because there's sand here. But now this is starting to make me think of parallel production, where we might want to have a chain going down this away. So if we have the sand going here, you see what I mean? But we're also creating a lot of traffic, and eventually that's going to be an end game consideration. Maybe we won't want to get too deep into any one tree or anything yet. Not that there are any trees, but here we are, a concrete factory. If we do this, we are going to connect up the sand to that, and we want to have some sort of main bus. This is universal to all factory games, right? So. I mean, I'm going to be trying to do all this right, but I know it's just going to end up in massive failure, so maybe I should just do what my friend, um, Cody does, and just, like, uh, I don't know if you guys have seen Kibitz, but he did, uh, he did his initial factory where he just built one of everything when we were doing, uh, Dyson Sphere. And I thought that, well, that's a brilliant idea, because I, certainly I'm going to make a lot of mistakes, so maybe I'll start off with that. Let's get the power going. Let's just build something and intentionally make mistakes. Later on, we'll fix all of those. And, uh... Dear God, I always feel just outstandingly dumb whenever I start these games, but... Like, I'm making a lot of mistakes that I'll regret later. You know, like, uh, here we are. We don't have enough workers, but that's because we don't have people yet. Uh, power generation. So we've got power generation. Look at the small cars! There they go to the factory. They're going to put things in there. And then they're going to, um... Uh, you know, do all of the stuff that they do. There we go. Okay, so we've connected up the power poles. We're going to have massive spaghetti. We're just going to make a lot of mistakes in this run and enjoy it entirely. I'm, we'll, and we'll brag about our mistakes. All right, so fortunately the game does have some type of tutorial. Um, here we are, one second. I want to do this, adjust that. There we go. Um, again, I have chat with me here. So they're going to help me get some idea of what's going on around me. Uh, we're going to be storing all of these materials into here, but now I guess we're going to want to think about infrastructure as we go on further. Let's just make the mistakes and enjoy them, methinks. Alright, so we want that to be slightly farther away from the sulfur. Let's give the sulfur enough breathing room here, and then we'll just place cities skylines over to here. Oh, look at the degrees. Look, math, protractors, angles. Ah. <sighs> Day Goonight, thanks very much for the sub, and Goat Whistle, thank you very much for the sub. Much appreciated. Now I guess we'll keep storing the concrete parallel in a way here, and we're going to try to get everything going this way until we eventually are going to confront a rock, or maybe we should go the other way. Who can really say? Who can really say? Maybe we should have looked all that over before we began. Well. And that was a mistake, but we'll have to do it later on. All right, basic habitats. Now we're going to need to deliver all of the resources over to our humans. So we've got the basic resources out of the ground. We've got power going, we've got electric poles, and we've made them into processed resources, stored them, 
And now we need to go make room for humans. Now humans can be upgraded when we give them like air and food. Much like you and me, I am upgraded whenever I eat or breathe. So let's go ahead over this way. Mm. Mm. Now methinks basic habitat. If we put the basic habitats near the uh, atmosphere generation, and we do something like, well, let's get it all connected up to a road first, of course. Of course, of course. Can we do... I should have built these in the other order. Well, whatever it is. Everything will just be slightly off for this one. We'll put in a lot of these things this way. And then if we get another road going here... Yes, right angles. Imposing order on the vast wilderness of nature. Here we are, and then let's begin to put in these atmosphere generators over here. Mm -hmm. And a spaceport so that we can import people. I guess we'll just put this here because we probably won't need more of them. And power, of course, of course we'll put in power. And there we go. Bob's your uncle. Stuff. Now, of course they need oxygen, but need, have, want. What are we really talking about here? We have high immigration. And just an amazingly satisfying game to see everything come together. Like, look at how tight this looks. What do you folks think of this game? I, I just think it looks really, like, very clean. I don't know what it is. It's just so beautiful. There's something so nice to look at it. And you can absolutely make crazy structures in it. Mm. Is Elon Musk teaching us how to make the future Mars colonies with this? I don't really know, but one thing that I noticed about this game is the fact that... Uh, hey, hey, yo, hey, Vixos, how are you? Thanks very much for the eight months, my friend. One thing that I find very, perhaps infuriating here, is like the tech startup font that they're using. I can't remember the name of this font, but yeah, this font is somewhat infuriating that it's on everything, but it also looks very clean. But it's just on everything. Look, there goes the spaceship. So that'll bring in people. Unfortunately, we don't actually get to see the people. Um, but as we get this, we'll just speed up time a bit. We have 20 population, we have 33 jobs and 28 housing, but unfortunately there's not enough oxygen. Uh, so they won't really move in yet. Well, both that and they'll also need more oxygen before they, um... And here we go. There they go. In little blue toothpaste tubes, they deliver the oxygen to the people who need oxygen. So if we put that there, and who is this driving around this loud pink car? Oh, that's just people going in there, driving their pink Ubers. There they go. There they go. Hmm. Yeah, it's like the comic sans of tech startups. Exactly. Like that font that everyone uses to be cool and edgy, but then it just doesn't... It's everything goes awry. All right, so we have a few... This is somewhat like any other automation game. I feel like that's kind of dismissive to say that about automation games, but in, in some sense, they are all very much similar. Um, we're going to need to make science. So we're going to need research labs and science pack factories. Uh, we're going to need iron, though, I believe, and other resources if we want to get to that. So we need to go find some iron. We have iron over here and more iron over here. So I'm thinking that we'll probably end up, like, taking that out of the ground over there. And if we do road this away, let's just build out our, what I'm going to call our main bus right here. Oh my god, look, it gets elevated. Wowzers. Let's just let it be elevated. Oh wow, we can elevate it even more unnecessarily. That's so interesting. Yes, I think I'd love some of that. All right, we'll do that. This is probably going to be a traffic nightmare by the time that everything is done, but that's... Oh, that's what we've been doing this all for. All right, well, um, we have enough of most of the resources here, so let's go ahead and build out another parallel from our road this away. One thing that's this dealt with as well is showing the production balance. Indeed, it does a good job showing your um, your inputs and your outputs in this game. Like, I wish I was more of a sommelier of other, uh, what is it? other like automation games because I just think it's beautiful like what they can do and I wish I had more of a, of a vocabulary to describe them all 
But it's like all the people who I meet who are interested in these games are like taking calculus. Like, I don't know if you folks watch Troopin. One time he showed me his calculus homework and I was very upset. I was very upset. It's been, it's been too long since I last did any calculus. Uh, it was like when I was a freshman in college and it's just, uh, I was, I liked calculus actually. I didn't, I wasn't as big a stats guy, but, uh, yeah, very upsetting, very upsetting. But you know when, when they do good calculus, it's, uh, it's going to lead to a good factory. Hmm. I've got signs. This is also obnoxious and wonderful, how you can just place a giant sign. Like, oh yeah, what game was I playing? Oh, I forgot completely. But you can, uh, no, obviously you can't just write in for space on there. You can write down what is being created in each of the spots. Hey, Alex, what's up, brother? Hmm. Calculus became much more la interesting later in energy. Yeah, when you have a use for calculus, it becomes more interesting. Or really anything for that matter. Ed the Deadhead. And uh, HD Hype, thanks very much for the five gift subs. Much appreciated, my friend. That's very generous. Thank you. Thank you very much. Now, we need to be creating iron ore here. So let's go ahead and this is the reason why we built out this way. Let's go ahead and uh, bring the road over. And does it actually give me more indicators? I, I like what they've taken. I'm going to say from Cities Skylines because that's the only real game where I've seen this implemented. But I don't know, maybe it's more of a universal game design thing. Oh, that's nice how it like terraforms to the uh, area you're doing. Sand mine, silver mine. Okay, here we go. Iron ore. Can we actually see if it's going to even overlapping there? I guess we'll try to place these rather densely. I haven't seen any limits on resource deposits. But I don't know, maybe that's a thing. I'm getting a little bit of like Dyson Sphere program vibes here with this. Just the way that the placement works. Hmm. No, 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 no. No, okay, let's just give them their own separate power generation because I'm tired of running power lines over here and making the public pay for it. There we go. There we go. Now, are these two connected? Ah, oh, they have miraculously connected. The beginning of great spaghetti. Oh, there go the small trucks. Really nice. How much text can you put onto a sign? I really wish to know. Let's find out. We have 78 steel. We might run out of steel, so should I wait? Let's wait until we start producing steel, and then we'll try to create an unnecessarily long sign. Yes, that sounds like a great idea. Ah, good idea, Mirror. All right, so there they go. I don't know why. I always wanted an ant hill as a child. I mean, not an ant hill, an ant farm. Mother never allowed this. I can see why, but... I still feel, like, deprived of it to this day. Look, they're just pooping out sand onto the oxygen generators. That's probably not going to be good in the long run, but it is what it is. How much can I mess with this before? Yeah, right. Uh, let's go ahead and let's just do some sort of spaghetti experiment over here. Like, can I do this? I'm not going to use up a lot of resources. Can we make a really steep road? I have a better idea. Let's do something like this. Let's go up slightly. And then we'll just do that for no reason. And maybe that. We could do that, but why stop there? Then we do that. And then we do that. Okay, yes, this is turning into Medusa. Oh, good. Okay, can we just make a road go right back over itself? Like, nope, I changed my mind. Like... And then you have to pay a massive toll to get through, because why not? Why end it there? All right, can we just do this? Oh, wow. Wowzers. Why stop there? Let's connect it back into itself. Oh my god, it's awful and beautiful. It's Kafka-esque. All right, I'm going to stop wasting resources. This is a great game, and why are those roads red? It's colliding with something. Well, why not? All right, I suppose that we can't just have them collide with one another. And everyone has to pay to get through it. <clears throat> Next level tabletop. Same modern, well-made ant colony sim would definitely get $30 out of it. Yes, an ant colony sim would be very satisfying. I, too, agree with that. All right, now that we've started uh, doing stupid things, will there be an end to it? Uh, can the truck still get through? Okay, then we'll just leave that there as like a reminder that we can do that. Mm. Oxygen. 
Good oxygen, good oxygen. Uh, survival food. Okay, so let's get on with the actual game itself. Um, research and farming. Are we producing research now? Yes, so we're going to ask them to begin the research on the farming. They'll bring out the research. Here goes truck one, truck two, truck three, truck four, and truck five. And wowzers. Research is unlocked. Uh, steel production. Obviously, we'll want to create that because the next thing that we want to create is an unnecessarily large sign. Uh, do we have that research available yet? Um, oh, yes, I know why we can't do this, because we need more population. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and create a simple farm. So we're going to need to deliver the farm to the people. So let's go ahead and just put farms across from uh, uh, atmosphere generators, because I'm sure that will go well, and there won't be any changes later on down the production line. Let's just put that like it is. Um, they have enough power. We'll make two of these. I've noticed that you need a lot of these. I don't know if I got my ratios off, but I'm going to make like three of them for one habitat. Uh, we have eight of eight people, so let's go ahead and make one more habitat as well. Look, a family here. Good. And there goes the oxygen and all of the other stuff. And now we want to keep on getting our um, uh, our supply chain up, because I've noticed that this game does actually a quite a good job of like telling you how much you're producing on your supply chain. Ant Sim. Ah, yes, there is an Ant Sim game. That does remind me. This game where you can essentially pump sand into oxygen generators and give uh, colonists a mild case of hypoxia, eye irritation, and the sudden sand in the lung infection. But who doesn't like sand infections in the lungs? Now, I'm going to wait until we have enough of our other stupid resources so that we can uh, create more of this, because really, there's no point in playing automation games. The real purpose of automation games is to create bad things. Uh, like that. <laughs> as we've learned from uh, YouTube over the last couple of years. Um, let's see. Hmm. All right, let's just let the, give these a little bit of time. Are they getting enough of their resources? Survival food does take a little bit longer. I really did underestimate this is going to take even more. Let's just create that. There's other eccentricities and quirks, though, that are a little funny. Like, why do we need to research a one-way road? Like, like, you could do that? Like, they didn't think of a one-way road if they had already thought of a two-way road? A bit questionable, but okay. Do you harvest spice in this game? Oh, what is that from again? Uh, oh, what, like in Spore? Mm. Hey, Jack's Blades, thanks very much for the prime. If I am insanely smart or not using filler words makes people think that I'm a gene... No, I use a lot of filler words. I say um a lot. There's some people who watch my videos and just get angry at me because of how I say, um. It's a little obnoxious, though. There's also a lot of lip smacking. I have a lot of bad audio hygiene habits. All right, but enough of that. Um, let's let's continue. We have not, not enough workers. Uh, that's a lie because... isn't it, Wait, isn't that a lie? Oh, wait, no, eight of eight. Oh, I do need more. I stand corrected. I As I recall, I thought it was two. Now, we've finished the tutorial, so a kind of a laughably short tutorial. Um, these are going to start upgrading themselves, though. So this uh, habitat we had supplied with enough oxygen and survival food. So it now uh, magically upgrades itself. So now we need home appliances. So we're going to need to create toasters, uh, uh, microwaves, um, plates, other kinds of mm, electronics that will need to improve the city. See, why do you need to research one-way roads? But okay, I'll allow it. Um, steel mill. There we are. So we'll need that. We're going to make Pennsylvania. We don't have enough workers. The factory can't run efficiently. I think the workers are just designated by the pink cars. Um, yes, it does feel... You know, there's... Every game feels like a combination of other games, though. So I wouldn't really pin it down to one. City level. We've also got our city level. We've got good statistics. I haven't shown any of this yet. We've got good statistics on our city. We've got a um, way of seeing districts. I think that you can label these later on if you want to get really organized, which... Uh, who doesn't love getting organized? I certainly do. Visualizations. We can see building occupancy. Oh, that's very nice. Uh, do we have the traffic overlay? This is the most interesting one to me. Uh, maybe not that. Roads... Buildings with industrial robots. Oh, I thought we could see the actual traffic itself. Yes, here we go. So we can see kind of congestion on each of these roads. Obviously, these roads aren't congested, though, but uh, good information there. Train lines will just collapse. Okay, now, if we want to get a steel mill going, what do we need? Uh, I wish I recognized these things a little bit more. I know that's... What is that? Carbon? So we make carbon good. Uh, carbon. We're producing these already, so we're going to need to combine this chain of resources. 
with this chain of resources. So let's put it somewhere in the middle, like here. Uh, and we'll also put it down, because down is the way that this thing is going. Though, regrettably, we didn't have those things on this side, but, you know, this is why you play the game, is so that you can become omnipotent and learn all of the things you need to do for your second playthrough, because the first playthrough of every single automation game is just bound to be a mistake. There we go. We'll make two of those for no particular reasons. Um, okay, good. There go the carbon trucks. I do enjoy how the trucks match the color of the good that they're delivering. And I like how much you can zoom in on this. I don't know why. I just appreciate that. I remind you of Christopher Walken. I... I agree. I, uh, whenever I think, I remind myself of Christopher Walken. I appreciate that. Never mind backseating or suggestions from chat if I ask for it a little bit, but I would rather, uh, for my first playthrough, I'm going to make a lot of mistakes on purpose. Um, I, it feels like tripping your way through the instruction manual of reading Legos to play an automation game for the first time, you know what I mean? Like, um, kind of like doing Lego instructions backwards. For example, the first time you play Factorio, it's just a mess. It's just a mess, and your mind expands when you're done playing. So I, I want to kind of ex uh, feel the expansion of the mind. I would enjoy that. Oh, there go, uh, like a horde of trucks. My God! And so far, they've they haven't even caused any pebbles to run up against the other's trucks and massive insurance claims. No, we haven't needed any of that. But here we go. We're creating tons of this. We should probably create more because, as I've learned from all gaming I've ever done, more is better. Especially automation games. But my god, how are two windmills powering all of these factories? Or I should say wind turbines, not windmills. That was an unfortunate placement, but okay. Mm. Mm, hit point in. Thank you very much for the raid. God bless. Uh, hang on a second. Let me go ahead and... Uh, give me a moment. Give me a moment. Ties and wine. Thank you for the sub. And Jack Blades. Thank you very much for the prime. Much appreciated, my friends. Hang on a second. Sorry, just doing this really quick. Ah, Star Sector. Ah, Star Sector, an amazing game. Look, there they all go like ants. Hmm. Ah, hope you guys had a good stream. Ah, look at them all go. So satisfying. Ah, open, open the factory. I do wish that there was like a little animation here, but again, we're pretty early into early access. I think that's kind of a minor thing. They can all just go through the wall. Alright, so let's go ahead and see. Are we storing all of this steel? We don't want to create all this steel and then just fail to store it all. That would be bad. Uh, I think we have general resource storages, so let's go ahead into our construction material storage. Uh, I'm supposing that that can store anything in it. Steel, concrete, Adamantine. I don't think it really matters where each one of these things is. Obviously, it sort of does, but I mean, if this thing can stock all of them. Let's go ahead and create something across from the steel. Or nearby it, where it could store all of that. And we're going to contribute all of this to the stupid road that we're making, because that's, again, the point of all of this. Alright, so we've created another one of these, and before we do anything else productive, we just have to do something dumb. So let's go ahead and make a... Uh, a long sign. Give me a very long word, please, folks, that we can put right in the way of everything that we were trying to build. No, we won't put it there. Uh, let's put it somewhere, like, up here. Just like the Hollywood sign. Uh, what can it say? What can it say? All right, I need a very long word. Hmm. No, that wasn't what I meant to write. Okay, let's make the font really small as well. We'll make like size one font. Just a small font that people have to get up close to see. Uh, 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 my favorite is this is a huge sign. Uh, uh, All right, that's how that's uh, can we make it larger if we What if we just make it ah, uh, so, okay, so we do have a, um, a limit it's however many characters that it but I like that this is 
<laughs> that, that was great. That was great. Uh, this is a huge... All caps. Just make it really obnoxious. Sign. Mm. There we go. Bold.ttf. We could go. There we go. Uh, which is the largest font? There we go. And we could just keep on changing this and upsetting everyone. Okay, there we go. So it, it's colliding with things. But that's... <laughs> I hope it didn't use up, like, the proportional amount of concrete. <laughs> uh, I gotta... I, that is amazing. That is amazing. <laughs> No, I want to put more of them everywhere. <laughs> oh god, let's just put words everywhere. <laughs> uh, this is... Uh, just containing a lot of obvious information. Uh, play. There we are. Uh, more obvious information, please. More obvious information that we can kind of put around. Though, are we going to have the amount of concrete to stifle, or rather steel, to in encourage this amount of stupidity? I think we need to wait a little bit longer. All right, so let's go ahead and stop being stupid uh, for a few minutes while we just get the next things ready. Hmm. Mm, spaceport, we already have one of those. I think we just need to up the production. We should also see what kinds of... Uh, city statistics. What are we creating? Let's go ahead and see our concrete steel. Here we go. Um, we could probably get more detailed statistics on that. But we have the steel production. Let's go uh, do improved wind turbine blades. Uh, as soon as we get that other type of science. We're going to need electronics though. We're going to need green science before we get to that. So let's be smart for a few more minutes and then we'll be, we'll be stupid again. Um, production. How do we unlock this? Green Science Pack Factory. So we have some of these resources. We're going to need electronics though, so let's go ahead and start researching electronics. All right, so we've done that. And we should see everything else come out from this other factory. Uh, where is my science happening? Mm, there we go. Okay, science is being delivered. We're making electronics. So let's ask ourselves, how do we create electronics? Hmm. Yeah, I paved paradise. Put up a parking, uh, something. There we are. Uh, what do what do we need for this? We need what appears to be sand. Is that sand? Let's go ahead and see if this is sand. No, that's actually not sand. We gotta go figure out what that resource is. Mm, ah, copper mine. Okay, so we need to link this to the copper. Unfortunately, we put the sign in the way of the copper. <laughs> Going to need to go find some more copper. <laughs> uh, there we go. Copper over there. Uh, the copper over here, though, too. So let's go ahead and put down one of these. All right, there we go. Uh, one, two. This one seems as if magnetically drawn to the copper. Good. I will put down some more of these. The good news is that those uh, wind turbines are pretty much self-sufficient. So they can just kind of take care of themselves. And we'll link this back. We want to kind of make this this way. These cars are going to have an unfortunately long commute. Longer than my own personal commute. Uh, back up to the last job I was working. There we are. Good. Uh, let's go ahead and put in a wind turbine. There we go. And we'll put in this. Great. Okay. They have power. Work harder, machines. Work harder. Mm. We reached Mars and we need to research one railroads, <laughs> essentially. Yeah. Oh, horrible. Okay, let's go ahead and get more workers, because it looks like we're producing enough food now. We've kind of let the, yeah, outgoing storage full. I don't think that we can store the food in there, so let's just go ahead and make way for more people. All right, the people belong in these basic habitats. There they go, and people one and two and three. There we go. We'll just make a whole mess of them, because I really don't see any upkeep on these things, and I think we should just keep scaling up in a stupid way. There we go. Can I, like... It's kind of crazy how close I need to place the next power pole if I want to get something going. All right, I think that's good, though. Where did those trucks even come from? They made a U-turn. 
Do more of this. Let's do green science because we're obviously going to need that. I want to make these wind turbines more efficient. And not enough power in network too. Okay, so we've put in way too many of these factories. So we're just going to need to create more wind turbines. Now, wind is everywhere. So we could just put all of this garbage. I think we could just scale this out infinitely in this direction. Oh, whoops-a-daisy. Whoops-a-daisy. I made a mistake. How do we undo that mistake? Oh, we can just do that. In the future, we have one-way roads, but we can't... Apparently, we can't... We can replace everything. That's good, I suppose. All right, there we go. Okay, so let's just make these a little bit further away from each other. It seems as though we need to get more space between these wind turbines. Let's just experiment with that. Okay, so, ah, uh, yes, okay, so 100% efficiency if they aren't lined up with any of the other ones. Let's see if they are overlapping, like a Venn diagram. Okay, so we need to get these even further apart, it seems. That is important to know. All right, so we're going to need to make these into some sort of a hexagonal configuration. It seems as though if they are not, if they're touching the buildings, that's still fine. Like, the buildings don't block it. But we can just have a whole mess of wind turbines everywhere. This is good to know. Oh, I think I've been... Ah, uh, alas. I did not see that. Have I just been spending concrete on moving all of these? Yep, I have. Wow. All right. Uh, that was kind of a huge fail. We just spent all of our concrete. Well, no matter. We can just create more sand factories. Famous last words. Famous last words. Well, there's pretty much infinite sand here. And... I hate sand. I hate the way it feels... Uh, I have a better name for that sign up there, but I might also have to pay a lot more money to change the words on the sign. I want another sign on the other cliff that just says, I have the high ground. Mm. It's getting infrastructure, but terraform to grow. Um, mm. Mm. I don't think that there will be any terraforming in here. No, none of that. No, we don't want any change. We just want to leave this planet as it is. We just want to harvest the resources off of it. Hmm. All right, not enough workers. Although I disagree with that statement. Look at all of the people that are happy here. Uh, oh, it's probably because I created a massive concrete factory. Okay, so then let's keep importing more people. Hmm. Go do another basic habitat. There we go. And again, these don't really require any upkeep, so let's just keep on making more of them. Ten concrete. Concrete seems to be pretty cheap to come by, though, as well. Uh, and they can keep on storing more of it in there. We can put sand factories anywhere, too. Yeah, now it does, it kind of makes you want to, it makes you want people so that they can be unhappy when they wake up and they look at the sign that terrorizes them every morning. Wouldn't that be just nice? We have a large sand, I can't imagine why anyone would ever get one of those. I guess we'll learn. Uh... There we are. Good. Let's do more of these. I just want a whole mess of it. And there we go. Okay, for some reason, everything is working out. Good. All right. Uh, workers. More workers are being delivered. That sounds so dystopian. The workers are being delivered. But yes, that's what's happening. <laughs> Another sign that says, this is where your taxes are going. Ha 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 ha. Uh, we need more atmosphere generators. Obviously, we don't want to run out of atmosphere generators, or we will... We won't have any of it. Um, <laughs> where, where was that again? Mm, that was there. Okay, here we go. Atmosphere processors, or atmosphere processors, rather. There we go. I think I'm just going to put these right across from each other. Looking back, maybe I should have scaled this out differently, but uh, we'll just pay for it later. Hmm. All right. If we do this to confuse everyone even more. I just want to prepare for the future because I know I'm going to need to scale this stuff up. There we go. Okay, that's good. That's pretty good. All right, so the sand is being spit out onto the atmosphere generators. And the atmosphere generators are protecting the farms. Mm, wowzers, that's kind of crazy. Look at how much is required of the farms. Um, are we getting the green science going? We aren't getting enough science 
as it stands right now because we aren't getting enough carbon. So, and also to remember our people are using up a lot of this. So let's get more carbon generation going. Yeah, we're going to need more of that. <clears throat> Excuse me. So if we go over to, where was it? There it was, atmosphere processor, and we do that. And that, whoops, made a mistake. Hmm. We go there. Uh, it was there. Okay, I'm getting I'm getting haggard now. Obviously, a lot of these things are going to get more efficient, and it would also be better if we could separate out these two things. So I don't know if I like this. I should have put these things in the middle. I'm now starting to see, because this is really a machine that's in moderation. We want machines that do the extreme of one thing or the other. Like, we need the oxygen going over here, but now we've created a massive carbon tra traffic jam over here, so we're going to need another road outward. Maybe we'll put another road this away. Here we are, uh, because we're going to need to be delivering carbon over yonder. So let's do something like this, something awful like that. Oh, why would he do that? I don't know why I do any of these things. <clears throat> Big Brother is watching on the sign. Yeah, essentially, right? I don't think we need this much steel. We've got far too much steel, so let, we'll just... But we don't really want to take down our production, so let's just live with our bad mistakes, and then eventually we'll fix it up. Uh, and it seems as though these things are being all delivered to these factories because they just go like what's nearby. So let's just put one directly across from it. There we go. And uh, here we go. Another decision we regret. So let's do this. Uh, what might be nice is to just create everything in these simple blocks. There we go. Like, see how you have these nodes on the street? Like, here's a node, and here's another node. Maybe if we give them that much space, they'll respect us. There we go. Good. So we've got some in storage. Did well, we've got some in storage. Did you all know a Twitch Prime sub is basically free money? If you link your Amazon Prime account to your Twitch account and use this free money on your favorite streamer. Well, well thank you very much for the very generous sub, Dr. Spleens. Much appreciated. No, you folks just... Uh, always appreciated, never expected. But thank you, Dr. Spleens. Um, this is a video gameplay. Uh, we've got that sign built up. We've got the carbon. Okay, the carbon is going again. Let's go ahead and um, do researches, blue science packs. So we're waiting on that again. All right, let's go start to scale up this production because now we have enough, far more than enough steel. So let's just build more of everything. I keep thinking that I'm going to get more efficient structures, but it, I'm really going to need to build a whole mess of this stuff before I go on. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, how now, brown cow? There we go. Look. How now, brown cow, indeed. Okay, we've got uh, a, a big new line ready. And let's go just get more of all of this stuff. See how insane we can make it. Once we can make this insane enough, then we'll just make sign land. Let's do all of that, and then we'll do all of this. There we are. Okay, good. Uh, mm, we're going to need more of this. Good. Good. Now we're going to need more iron. Iron. I've never... <laughs> I've seen this word, but I've never heard it pronounced. I've only read it in text. <laughs> Iron. Oh, no, we're running out of concrete now, alas. Hmm, okay, well, we can at least do this. Good, very good. Okay, we've got all of that running. And why have you stopped, noble machines? There we are, good. Okay, we've got those running. So now we're making more of everything. 120 residents. Do we have the power that we need? It doesn't seem that this is being supplied with the power it needs, so let's go ahead and put in more of this. My god, this world needs a lot of concrete to run. Okay, but we are beginning to create it at a rather breakneck pace. I think what we're going to need now is, I think we have enough sand, we need to create more concrete factories, because clearly, look at how much concrete there is. There we go. Let's go back into the resource chain. We've made more, yes, we've made more than enough of this, clearly. Yes, some of these aren't even working because they're full. Alas, we did not we did not create what we needed. I know I'm being remarkably inefficient, but this is just how I enjoy badly exploring 
new automation games. I don't know. I just I want to make sure that they can do the thing that I want to do, because I don't enjoy the game. I, well, I do enjoy the game, but streaming it, I more enjoy just creating absurd things in the game. There we are. Okay, good. So now we're creating all the sand and concrete that we needed. And this just looks like we've really lowered the property value over here by quite a lot. Iron. Oh, we're going to create another hazard for our colonists with silica. I don't want to know about problems I'll have from 20 in 20 minutes from now, though. That'll. I just want to experience them and be upset, you know? I was thinking I would just enjoy the upsetment. All right, we have almost enough now for another wind turbine. There we go, 100% efficiency. And good, okay, so now we've got our grid working again. It really doesn't look all that large, but I'm, I gotta say that I'm impressed by like, no lag, no stutter. Look at all of the models on everything. Like a really efficient game, it just, it runs really nicely. Um, that is in the vicinity of this. In the visinage of this. A little bit reminder of the Anno series. That's fair. That's fair. All right. So now we've unlocked green science. So what do we need for green science? We need uh, gold teeth. No, that's copper. There we are. Okay. So the green science we're going to need. Mm, we need electronics though as well. So let's go ahead and make electronics first. We need all of our preliminary tech. We need copper and iron. So that's going to be somewhere right in the middle here. Ooh, space. Hmm. Iron, copper, everything changed when the Fire Nation attacked. Outward, I say. Outward. Actually, Outward is another great game we should do on this channel. Ah, uh, Outward. And we should also play its sequel, Inward. <laughs> and then Homeward Bound. Maybe we'll watch Homeward Bound after that. No, we... That, uh, that Twitch meta has been ruined. Of course. Of course, I'm kidding. Mm, there we are. Do another one there. Good. Okay, that's good enough. And good enough is what we're looking for. Well, I don't really know. The one issue with this game, I suppose, though, is that there really isn't any end goal. But that's kind of, like, what they're asking us for in early access is, like, what do you want in the game? I find automation games to just be relaxing and satisfying on their own. Is to create stupid garbage out there in the world. I mean, this is essentially what we're doing on Earth right now, right? Sulfur. Okay, we need more sulfur. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. And clearly we negotiated this entire thing wrong, but let's go ahead and... Uh, we don't want to clog up that road, so let's go ahead and put this here. Or rather, let's go ahead and build the sulfur mines first. Go work in the sulfur mines! There we are, good. Can we put it, like, on top of it? I don't know. I don't want to block off the other ones, but maybe we'll leave an inlet for a future road over here, and it'll just be a mess. Hello, my favorite frog. Oh, hello. Hello. Hey, Cryocore, thank you very much for the five months. Oh, I appreciate the lot, my friend. Thank you very much. Mm. Often the biggest challenge with these kinds of games is scaling. It's easy to get things, but... Yes, that's true, that's true. We, though I kind of, I embrace the scaling, like I'm not upset by it anymore. I know that a lot of people will get upset that I'm not scaling right, but I don't want it to just turn into math class. Otherwise, why don't I just, why don't you just watch a math tutorial, you know what I mean? <laughs> math. So get off your ass and do some math. <laughs> Who is that, Jack Black? Ah. Uh, uh, here we go, research. So we've got the green science, at least we've got a research. Let's get uh, one ro oh, I would never be able to research one-way roads. What an advanced and mysterious technology it is. Hmm. All right, well, now we, it does seem that we are starting to create a bunch of uh, dumb, we, are, we have almost enough resources to create more signs. It's just tantalizing as an opportunity. Mm, the home appliances factor. Okay, well, we're creating that. Let's go ahead and make more science. I do want to be a little bit efficient here, so let's go ahead and... Um, mm. Okay, so we want to get that near the research lab as well. So I guess let's just put them across from these. We'll create another one at the next node. 
There we are, the node. Green science. At least we can see all of the sciences available to us. Phew. You know, the, the lowly color of blue, followed by the advanced colors of yellow and green and red. Not in that order, but very advanced colors. No one has ever even seen those colors yet. <laughs> Before those colors were discovered. Solar panels. Okay, solar power plant might be useful, but... I don't see why one right way roads would be that use. I suppose later on we'll see. Concrete roads. They're not concrete? Hmm. Ah, uh, we could build turbines closer to each other. Okay, so this is this whole thing is kind of lost on us already. Let's just go for solar panels because I think that they look nice. Hmm. Make a roundabout, not a dedicated object, but easy enough to... Ah, that would be very interesting to create a roundabout. There's a lot of roundabouts in my town, actually. They're quite, uh, scenic. I like them. Everyone loves a good roundabout. And going through a roundabout is just like pure merriment and gaiety, you know? Like, ah ha ha, everyone needs to yield to me because I'm in the roundabout, so I'm just going to keep going around and around. At least that's what I do when I'm in a roundabout. No one ever gets through. Massive traffic jams. <laughs> uh, why is there just grass in the home appliances factory? That is illusory and odd. All right, well, whatever it is. Okay, we seem to be getting efficiency going. We have not enough workers, not enough power. Okay, we'll, we'll need to go create more of that next because clearly we need to scale on more of these other issues. Uh, hmm. This one needs, oh, it also needs blue science packs in order to create. Ah, so actually we may have, ooh, we might have put that across from these ones. Hmm. No, no matter. I mean, how much of this other stuff do we have? Okay, it's time to make more bad signs. And then regret our decisions later. Okay, let's get another good sign. Uh, 300 concrete and 50 steel. That seems completely worth it for me. Uh, let's put it somewhere more visible and in the way. Uh, like, maybe right there. On top of the road. No, not on- it needs to be somewhere else. Mm, no, I don't want to- no calls to action, please. Mm. Mm. Mm, in for space. Uh... How about, like, I shouldn't have put this here. Why did... Here we go. Why did I put this here? There we go, that's perfect. That's amazing. Ah, uh, good. All right, now it's a factory. Ah, uh, good. Hmm. Hmm. Not enough power in network. Oh no, okay, we're going to need more stuff. Mm -hmm. Good, and keep in mind that we're going to be able to put these wind turbines a little bit closer together as we get further. Mm. Erroneous label, move later. Yeah, right? Just all of that. Mm. Okay, I can't build on top of my unnecessary sign, but uh, maybe that's all for the better. <laughs> oh, it's amazing. It's perfect. There we go. Okay, good. All right, we're supplying it with a little bit more power with just random wind turbines everywhere. Though I do quite like the wind turbine mechanic, how you can... Oh no, it's colliding with it. Ah. All right, I'll move it. I want them to be... I still want them to be 100% efficient, though. There we go. Okay, just barely... Just barely missed it. No! Ah, uh, alas. All right, well, we'll just leave that there as a problem. Uh, at least I do get refunded some of the concrete. All right, very well, fine. All right, now I'm wondering what we can do with this other level. Um, you know, I'm not trying to play this game well. I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to get through today. Hmm. The no clipping cheat code. Hmm. Very good idea indeed, except I don't have the cheat codes. 
Hmm, we can't build something this steep. Let's just go right through this. Oh no, alas. I, I do want to see how bad we can make the roads, because that was originally why I was like, this game looks very interesting. We just make them do that? No? We, okay, we have to be careful and make sure that... I still want them to be able to use the roads, but I want to give them something very far away to connect to. Hmm. Let's go slowly. Slow and steady wins the race here. Slow and steady wins the race. So if we do this... Followed by there we go. That looks reasonable. And then we just have it all go right back over itself. Can we go over these things? I mean, I wouldn't mind discovering useful information, though, while we're ruining everything. Oh, that's kind of interesting. So you can build stuff over other stuff. Ah, so this is very much like Dyson Sphere. Um, that is kind of... This is like Dyson Sphere without the grid snapping. I mean, and yet it does have grid snapping, but it's like more freeform grid snapping. Uh, can we build over the sign? No, we can't. That is unfortunate. Uh, I mean, it looks good, but it doesn't have any function. So that's what exactly what we've been going for. Good. Okay. Well, let's put something else somewhere. All right. Let's go. Let's go on with the rest of the game. I would like it if our unnecessary contraptions somehow contributed to the factory in the future, though. Martian version of San Fran's Lar Lombard Street. I don't actually know that. Hmm. Under the sign. Yeah, I wonder if I could go under the sign. Well, we, yeah, you're right. We can go under the sign. If we tell them to go here. Oh, no. Actually, our road is now colliding with the sign. Unfortunately, they're not able to drive underneath the sign. Uh, am I able to drive underneath this sign, though, because it's an upright sign? Unfortunately, alas, I cannot. That would have been great if I could have just made it drive through the letters. But we're going to need to find some more convoluted way of doing that. Okay, very well. I'll delete these roads. I shall abdicate. Uh, oops. There we go. All right. Hmm. What is next? We don't have enough workers, supposedly. All right, we'll get a couple of more people. We do have a lot of resources now, though, so we, in all of that, you know, wasting time, we, we did manage to get some more stuff done. Uh, what is taking so long with the solar panels? Is it that we don't have any electronics? Yeah, it's that we don't have any electronics. Okay, so we've got that. Are we storing these electronics? Mm, somewhat, somewhat. But we're also at pretty low efficiency because we don't have enough workers. Okay, so then let's focus on importing more people for now. Uh, we'll build out this road. Hmm. And make more places for families. The fact that the habitats are upgrading my, themselves seems to me like we'll be able to continue with this sort of method sustainably, methinks. There we go. Good. Mm. Oh, the really curvy one I always see on TV. Ain't no sunshine when she's gone. Hey, thanks for coming out. Hmm. Mm. Yeah, a little. I'm getting a little bit of city skylines as well. That's another vibe. Hmm. There we are. Okay, now it's modern art. Hmm. The red, the red segments do bother me. All right, um, not enough power for here. Well, let's go ahead and... Is there an easy way of seeing our grid? Let's go to visualizations. Let's go to power. All right, we have enough power almost everywhere. I, I wish I had like a quick number like I do in Factorio, though. I wonder if I have that. Power, there we go. Well, it tells me how much I'm generating, but is it? does it tell me my deficit? Mm -hmm. Production, consumption. Okay, there we go. So it, it does show it to me. Uh, it does show that we're producing more power than we're consuming, so I'm confused why this is not... Hmm, that's rather odd. Uh, but we aren't producing enough sand. At least that does show it uh, right as it is. Um, so let's go ahead and make more sand then, I suppose, because we're not making enough of that. Uh, that we could also kind of keep... There we go. Uh, we could keep, uh, like... You know, making this production go back and forth. Mm, sand mine. There and there. I don't like how that lets me build it, though. Like, that was a slight misclick, and then it... It would be nice if it gave me a noise or something, but I imagine that's some feature they'll add in or something. Okay, we've got enough sand mines now, I think. 
rather have more sand than uh, concrete or whatever it is. There we go, and we put this in, and we should have enough. Should have enough. What if I just do that? Nope, they do, they do actually need to be connected. There we go. Hmm. Why do you not want to work? Oh, maybe it's on a separate power grid. Ah, this is why, because now I am seeing this, because this is technically not connected. It looked as though it was. Hmm. Hmm. Alas. Alas. Just going to put a whole mess of these things in. I really think that starting back out, I should have just gauged the amount of space I would need to efficiently space out these things. Because roads aren't very con expensive to construct, but you want to be mindful of your space. Space is usually the one limited resource in these games. There we go, and we aren't connecting those, so we will. There's one and two. There we go. Hmm... The power, yes, that, now they are connected. Now they're, oops, those ones aren't. I would rather have far too much power than not enough. There we go, and... Good. Good, good, good. Mm. Thank you, Walker. Hey, Triple G, thank no. you very much for the 300 bits. Mm, building is colliding, but we're still getting power here, so I don't see an issue with this one. I think it's fine. Don't have enough workers. My factory still can't run efficiently. Okay, well, now... Hmm. If I... Okay, if I hex out of the message, it just comes back. We need to create more food for these people. Obviously, that isn't enough food, so let's go ahead into here. A little bit, I find that it's just a lot of resource balancing, though. I'm, it would be nice if there were some kind of thread or a goal. Now, they have mentioned that they might add in, like, settler happiness. I think people would rather... People love to see, like, combat in games like this. Because people don't like needy colonists, I've known or I've noticed in a lot of games. Except perhaps Surviving Mars. Surviving Mars, I found the colonists to be very like meme and funny. Because they will do absurd things. Like some of them turn cannibalistic, some of them just turn into these self proclaimed alcoholic nabobs of your people. It can go really poorly, and it's very funny. But if they implemented something like that, I think it would be very interesting. Uh, Dyson Sphere, you didn't really have that because you were just a single robot looking for that special someone. Yeah, a lot of folks enjoy that kind of combat orientation. I don't really anticipate combat orientation coming in, though. I imagine it'll be more like uh, uh, happiness. Maybe it'll go kind of in like that city skylines direction, you know, where like there are dead bodies on the ground. All right. This is good. Hmm. I'm trying to see if there are any major enough inefficiencies I can come out. Now, it does take time for the food to be delivered, and we've like tripled our food supply, but let's just power it. We'll power it. There we go. We've got enough of that. Nice. Nice. Hey. Hi, for one. Hey. Welcome our undecided amphibious overlord. I, for one, I, for one, thank you. Thank you very much for the thousand bits, Talwood. Very generous. Thank you very much. Much appreciated. There's some game called Grey Goo that's more combat oriented. I've not tried it. It really scares me the amount of gaming that they're. Ah! I saw it happen. It really does scare me, though, the amount of gaming. Like, even if I were to live several lives. You know, like, take someone else's, uh, uh, life force. I wouldn't even be able to play all of the games out there. There's far too many. Population 191, we have... Okay, we're approaching our housing limit. I suppose more people just are going to want to keep moving in. We're going to need a... I really think that they should add Whole Foods to the game. It looks like the kind of game that... <laughs> it just demands a Whole Foods. Well, there are some things that we know we'll need only one of. Like, for example, the spaceport. I haven't seen, at least so far, I can't imagine that we would need to increase the rate of, at which we import colonists. That would be crazy. But we're going to be adding in things like stadiums, schools, and parks. I guess I should say stadia, like the, pl like the Latin plural of stadium. We have a meat lab. Now, this is crazy to me. Like, what, what does this have to do with anything? They just make meat processed from nothing. 
Hmm. There we are. Excellent. Excellente. All right. Let's uh, have a look again at it. Uh, the red is bad. Mm, is this the day-night cycle too? No, they haven't added it a day-night cycle, but I, I do think they've added that to their roadmap of possible things. Hmm. All right. What would I do next if I were this factory? The real thing is that the research leads the way here for most of our tasks. I think we're delivering stuff, but 43% efficiency. Usually it will tell you it's not enough workers. That is nice how it tells you why it's not efficient in each one of these things. Yep, everything is not enough workers. So let's just expand this out and make a crap load of people. Uh, I'm probably going to make another segment here with more farms and more oxygen generation because we're going to need a crap load more people to live here. It's unfortunate that you don't get other options than the uh, just that one housing unit, but I guess we'll stick around with that. Um, and let's put it out. Well, first off, let's see where the roads will take us. And then we'll just get rid of all of the things that got in my way. No, I don't want to get in the way of any of my modern art. Here we go. A nice open swath of land. Let's put it way over here so that they have long, obnoxious commutes to work. There we go. Good, good, good. Um, hmm. Come on, people now. There we are. Uh, hmm. I'm trying to think, but it's good to make a lot of mistakes. I think it's productive to make mistakes in these games because then you start to rationalize, well, how should I actually do this? Uh, build solar power plant. Okay, there we go. I think what we really need is just one sector of people. Now, do the people commute to work in something? Like... How can I see? This is a delivery truck transporting two iron. Let's go ahead and s just like observe our people. We'll spy on them for a few days and see if they come out of their habitats and go to work. What is this transporting? It looks to be food to me. This is transporting a citizen. But do the citizens actually need to go to work? Like, do they get into their own cars? I, it doesn't seem so to me. So I don't think I need to create any sort of efficient route from here to there. Make a prison for them. Everyone works remotely in the future. Ex ah, so then why do we need them here, though? Why do we need them here? I am a child. You're right, you're right. This is like everyone moves to Arizona. This isn't even on a, in another planet. It's just Arizona. Ah, uh, Arizona. Hmm. Look at that power. Look at that power. We'll just create a mess of solar panels over here. Now, solar panels don't need to commute to work, so that's fine. We'll just put these far, far away. We'll put them nearby the sign that no one wants. There we go. Okay, we've created a crap load of solar panels. Production overview. How much power are we creating now? Far more than enough power. This is great. I do enjoy the instant build, but sometimes I wish that there were... I find myself wishing that they took time to construct them. I don't Arizona, know why. where everyone drives coal rolling Toyota Corollas. Yeah, I mean, I if they don't all have Teslas by then... Jesus. Uh, this seems to me like the kind of society where you would just get extreme political polarization due to the, the great amount of technology that had been researched. Like, there's all these people rejecting it. No, I don't agree with any of that. And then everyone in the society just... Uh, it leads to all of this great technology, but all of these great social issues due to all of the progress. Too much progress, one might say. Too much. Much too much. Fascinating. Fascinating. All right, let's go ahead. We have... Uh, what is that beeping sound? Oh, selecting research. Ah, options. Options. Everyone loves a good option. Mm, there we go. Okay, good. Oh, no, it's slightly not parallel. Alas. It's kind of like the second that you make something slightly not parallel, it just ruins the entire thing. Sadly, they have only Comcast and their high-speed internet providers. There's just too much lag from... Really? Is that it? Before they get Starlink. I'm really... I'm upset that I live in the time before Starlink exists. Like, when Starlink happens, you could live anywhere and have high-speed internet, which is why I'm so excited and I hope that they make it faster, because 
I would really like to live like underneath the ocean and have star have Starlink. I guess let's just keep doing this. I think that this structure seemed to work out just fine. Though we want to we need to create some sort of like circular formation. I just know that a grid works pretty well. All right, this is good. Let's speed up time and we'll just create more of these habitats until it says we have enough workers. Sometimes as the game is new, there are like little balancing things like how many of these goddamn habitats have we had to build? To be fair, it's it's been quite a lot. There we go. Okay, uh, we'll also select a new research. Uh, let's get the improved wind turbine uh, blades so that we can see what the smaller radius is going to be because perhaps we can build wind turbines in wind turbines in wind turbines. I sound like Sam Harris. I don't think I know Sam Harris. Mm. But thank you, thank you. Mm. Here we are, good. Atmosphere. Culture. Atmosphere. Good. Oh, right now, they need oxygen. Ah, uh, they don't really need oxygen. But let's go ahead and see what things we're missing here. Incoming storage empty, so we're not creating enough blue science. We're still not getting enough workers over here. My god, maybe we should move the workers closer to this location, though. It just kind of makes me think. Not enough workers. Well, the other issue is that it might not be cost efficient, too, because... You see, we need more workers to move into these places, but the issue is that we need more workers to sustain the creation of more workers, and it, we might not really be breaking even, so that's another thought. Like, I'm having to create a lot of these things, and this is a little bit reminding me of Factorio's C-Block. Um, if any of you folks ever played C-Block in Factorio, it takes an extremely long time to build anything because it's not very cost-efficient. Like, the, the variables need to be bumped slightly because the game just goes along at a snail's pace so that might be further balancing and stuff like that that they'll uh, research completed but we are coming along at a breakneck pace so I have no idea again I'm an idiot I'm just speculating um, all right but there we go that will hopefully be enough habitats for a little while we did build quite a lot of them and all of the stuff that comes with it if we just ignore that I think we might have a better time playing the game because it doesn't seem to be killing people like no one's dying right uh, four lane roads. We need a small town to get to this. Let's get to the concrete roads and the one way roads. Oh, good. You can queue research. Hmm. Yeah, where is the art? What do they live for? This would be one of the most depressing si uh, societies to live in, that's true. Like, they need a theater or something like that. After they've all been subjugated for their labor for so many years. <laughs> Yeah, that's all you do when you when you get off of work for the day you just take a walk outside and you look at the Road that goes nowhere and you are reminded of your life and you are forlorn. That is this society. Here is our modern art Here is our modern art. Let's make the road that goes nowhere more absurd. I'm enjoying this Sort of exercise and now we have far more than enough concrete so we can just make this oh God, let's make something that's just a pleasure to look at Mm, no, it was... I had it there for a second. There we go. Perfect. And then it just randomly juts out this way. Good. Oh, what? How does that work? Okay, let's try to make something here so that a car will maybe go over that. Uh... <laughs> like, you're on your road test and you get to that and you're like... They're like, make a U-turn. Oh, oh, what? Make a U-turn. Yeah, a U-turn. You gotta do it or you don't pass the test. <laughs> make an, make an upturn. Yeah. Change lanes. I need you to merge. Uh, Jesus. Okay, I guess we'll just leave that there. Kind of like a varicose vein in the road of society. Uh, all right, very nice, very nice. Well, we're going to need more blue science. There we go, 50% uh, efficiency. These ones are at least at 75% efficiency. It seems that they get to the further ones as they get. Yeah, like anything that's further off of this main road or its source of the supply 
Takes a longer time to get to, but my god, they've upgraded all of these other ones. What did I just tell you a minute ago of needing too many habitats for it to be worthwhile? Alright, here we go. Maybe I'm just not being patient with the society, though. Come on, you can research a one-way road with thousands of people. How many people are living in this society? Why would anyone move here? Like, yes, opportunities abound in that society. Oh, God. Uh, that's fun. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. Yes, this road goes backwards. Mm, there it is. Okay, good. Um, mm, did we power this one? Yes, okay, they are all powered. Good. It's taking them a little bit of time, but they are gradually getting the resources into place, so it is somewhat working. All right, let's get another sign in there. I think we need, we definitely need another sign. Or do we have anything else stupid that we could create? Mm. Uh, let's, say, let's get something uh, stupid and controversial. Uh, n nothing, uh, well, you, you know, I'll, I'll, re I'll read it out and then we'll... <laughs> all, right, which, all right, whichever one I like. Uh, oh yes, I have the high ground. I have the high ground. High ground. There we are. I have the high ground. Uh, good. Uh, now it just looks... Uh, I he the high ground. Um, uh, I have the high ground. Elon was here. Ah, mm. mm. <laughs> uh, yes, yes, that is another good one. <laughs> Uh, this one is a, is a classic, is a classic. We need to add this one in, um, where is it? All right, uh, gotta rotate the sign first. All right. The B, I guess we could chain together the signs too. Uh, nope. The beatings. <laughs> the beatings will continue. Contine. All right, we'll just make it that, because that's fine. Uh, there we go. Uh, the beatings will continue. <laughs> contine. The beatings will contine. There we are. Until morale improves. And can we make that larger and maybe overlap? The beatings will contine. I like this game for all of its signs. Ah, <laughs> oh, nice, nice. Yeah, we can change the dictionary to suit our need. After all, I'm not a prescriptivist linguistic. I'm a linguist, rather. Good, that stupidity unlocked us the concrete roads. And look, we have no more worker problem because people obviously read the signs and they understood. Good. Concrete roads. Now, what are these concrete roads? Snap road angle, snap build curved road. Gravel road. Didn't we just unlock concrete though? Hang on a second. Let's go see. Uh, maybe they just improved to concrete, if I'm not mistaken. Or can we at least see rails? Ooh, rails are going to be added into the game. Ah, uh, these are concrete roads. Now, what are these? What do these do for us? Let's go ahead and just put one on the, on somewhere and let's do a test. No more road here. All right. What happens when we do that? Oh. Wow. Much fast, much fast. Hang on a second, we need to replace everything. Everyone is going to be very upset by this decision at first, but... Uh, oops, oops. Uh, there we go, and okay, fortunately that does work somewhat like that. There it is, and another one. Uh, unfortunately, we need to build all of those. I wish that they... This is another thing of like you know the game is in early access so clearly some of these little UI bits will probably be improved but that is nice that is nice at least it's very easy to rebuild those ones anyway there we go and cool oh yeah and we gotta go put that there uh, that's concrete I don't see any reason to just not make everything concrete right there we go okay good Ah, uh, these, these roads are darker and more like, 
uh, luscious in their pavement, you know? Mm. It would be really nice to step on one of these. But now we are starting to get some sort of a traffic jam. Hang on a second, let's see, because clearly this is like what the game is going to be about, right? So now we can start to create like an impasse. Mm. More Anno Skylands. Oh no, look at all of this inefficiency. I mean, clearly we've created it in a momentary way from doing what we did, but I think we need to create more accessible routes over yonder. Like, what if we do that? Now these trucks can go there, but unfortunately these people need to go this way, and the trucks still need to turn in, so that's unfortunate as well. So how can we allow them to deliver without creating... Yes, now we have a... Uh, now is the part where my brain will melt. And I need to ask myself, like, what are the best, most efficient roads? Because look at this massive traffic jam we have over here now. Um, well, all of these things need to get over here. So if we create another pass here... Ah, okay, now my IQ is rising as I play. Oh, no! What is happening? I guess you could just come to a complete stop in your factory. If no one could deliver the, uh... Yeah, here comes the spaghetti. Right? Well, it's fun to me because it's kind of like doing uh, mini motorways combined with... Uh, mini motorways was really fun. I enjoyed that game a lot. Um, combined with Satisfactory, Factorio, and it has those elements about it where you need to do all of that stuff. Whereas in like Dyson Sphere, Dyson Sphere was kind of a whole other animal unto itself. I really wish that Dyson Sphere had gotten more attention because it was an amazing game. Um, I think that they'll keep on developing it, but who knows what'll happen. Um... Hmm. But now I am starting to see the point of these elevated roads so that they could do stuff like this. Or for example, if you had like a huge sand factory over here and you just wanted to directly deliver all the sand, you could create a giant highway overpass. Now it is starting to become like, it's not just stupid things for the sake of themselves, like it's stupid things for the sake of something else. I still can't quite figure out the signs, but <laughs> I mean, it's all been worth it. Hmm. Uh, all right, so let's, um, hang on a second. We have one-way roads. That's fine. Yes, now the one-way road point is becoming more apparent. Uh, what do we have over here? Unfortunately, we can't actually see what number three and four hide in store. Um, but how do we unlock the further research? Settlement outpost small town. So let's go into our, do we have achievements? City level. Okay, so here we go. Level three citizens. Your city is your city will be promoted to small town once you have at least three hundred level three citizens. Uh, how do we get level three citizens? We have a few of them already. Is that from? Oh, I see what this is. It's from giving them home appliances. So we need to be sustaining. Uh, where is it? Do these have home appliances? These don't have home appliances. I assume that in some of these places, what is closest to the home appliance shop? Okay, here we are. So these people have decided to live in dodecahedrons, clearly a more advanced uh, geometric form. So we can, we can go ahead and upgrade everybody else's lives, but we need to give them more microwaves. So we'll go ahead and make more of this. 75 percent, percent, there we go, percent efficiency. So we'll go in here. Home appliances factory and we'll need to up the efficiency now here's what i think though is that since we have all of these three dimensions to oh no what have i done since we have all of three of these three dimensions to work with um hmm i think we could more efficiently like deliver resources to these places but i need to like solve a rubik's cube before i figure out how to do this because like, I get how Factorio production works, because it's in two dimensions. You know, it's simple. It works. It makes sense. They're going to add combat and invasions into Dyson Sphere. That sounds great. I love combat. I would I would love it to be in that game. Fighting exhilarates me. Um, we are at 100% efficiency here. Uh, yes, I think that we can support more workers, is the truth. Um... We just need more people. Here we go. We should probably do another like farm and whatever factory over there, but let's go ahead and let's build everything from now on in concrete because I don't want to go back and redo everything. I've made enough mistakes that like if I were to go in again, I would probably make specific districts and sectors, I think, just to keep, at least to keep everything well laid out. 
You see what I mean? Like, it doesn't seem like it matters how long it takes the resources to get there, but it seems as though it does matter if they're getting cut off by other trucks. Like, you don't want this kind of thing that I've got here, where different trucks are delivering different resources on the same road. You want everything to be one type of truck so that it can be going very fast. I am speed, you know? That kind of thing. Like, this is bad. You don't really want a main bus. What might work would be to have several roads next to each other on a main bus, but clearly having one line here in the middle just doesn't work. Um, but we can get weird things like this road going over the spaceport, so can we kind of fix our mistake here with this modern art that we created by just doing something like, oh, I don't know, for example, this? Mm, no, not what I wanted. Like if we do that, and then if we do this. We just bring this up a slight level. We raise it. And then we create multiple doing the same thing. Kind of like in the same concept as four lanes in a factory. I'm not, I'm just put that down there to toy with it, but you get the point. Mm, we're not creating enough level three citizens. Hmm. I don't know. Let's just like consult about it for a second because I feel as though I don't like any of this. And I kind of want to abandon this factory and then go ahead and create a new district somewhere else. But under what sorts of principles would I create it? See, if I were to create a new one, I would do something like this. It's nice that you can just kind of blueprint everything over here. I would do something like this. See, L listen to me for a second. Mm, here we are. Like, if we created something like that, and then we created roads going up and down... Mm, no, we would really want it. Do we want them to be close together or far apart? Ah, it's hard to say. Yeah, start, well, I mean, we knew that we would have to start over from the beginning, but if the game is interesting enough that it makes me want to start over, I consider it a success. I like this. You know what I mean? Like, you have to, you know that you're going to mess up your first factory, so you should just make it and be unabashed when it fails. But if we created something like this, or maybe even like one-way roads where we just had one way of traffic so that there's no kind of cutoffs, and so that things could always go in one direction without ever having to wait. Like, for example, I don't know if you've ever seen those intersections where they're trying to um, make cars like never have to stop at an intersection, but this whole right-of-way garbage it's, it's garbage. They should never have to do this. They should just keep going. And if we could create some way of allowing cars to go over or through instead of having to stop for one another, we'll get rid of all of the inefficiency. Either that or just teleportation would be better. Roundabouts. Roundabouts might be interesting. Um, but I still find that people have to stop when they get to them. I would rather just completely separate all of the traffic. You know what I mean? Like, only carbon with carbon... Only green with green, only blue with blue, all of that kind of stuff. Not necessarily roundabout. Roundabout could help, but it's like... Mm, there still is some inefficiency in it. There still is some. Yeah, like mini motor... Like, the one thing that's really helpful in mini motor is if you can separate all of one type of house over to one thing... And they're doing another one. It really is more like mini motorways now that I now that I think of it. Um The issue is though that your resources are necessarily going to have to be together at the beginning. Like for example, you get only access to these two way roads, and you get only access to this atmosphere processor where you create both of these two things. What you might end up having to do is something like have all of your carbon get processed on this side. And all of your... Uh, you have to think in, like, the fifth dimension when you play this game. I don't know. Well, in the meantime, we have created a lot of other level three citizens. I'm just trying to think if I could salvage it in any way, or if I should just go back and restart entirely what I would do. Because we need to get that information concrete before we begin again, otherwise it'll just be a massive waste of, waste of time. Hmm, alas. Alright, good, we have a gravel one-way road. Mm. Yes, traffic traffic segregation is what I'm talking about. We need to separate them all. Mm. 
And there they go. I don't know. I am very upset. I am very upset. I thought I would have... I thought... And there's also trains, too, so there's another thing that we need to consider. Well, with that in mind, it seems as though you can create entire areas that are just devoted to one thing. You know what I mean? Like, eventually we'll be able to do that. So I think what I would do if I were to start back from the very, very beginning would be to create one massive place. Like, I'm going to at least demo this just so I can show you what I mean. Um, nothing but sand as far as the eye can see. So, for example, I would start off with my power, with my uh, windmill power. These are about as close together as they'll ever be, and I would put them into the most efficient configuration. Hexagons. Hexagons, as they say, after all, are the best agons. Until they're all gone. Uh, we have the next level. Okay, well, we can gradually fumble our way through the future. Aluminum mining. Okay, we'll do aluminum mining. Probably need that later on. But if I were to blueprint another one, I would do something like this. Okay, those aren't linked to anything, so we'll just kind of create more power here. Let's do something like this. I don't know why it looks right. It's probably wrong, though. All right, now that we've established some sort of power over it, we can kind of work over and under it and move and shift and delete them as we go. After that, I probably would do something like this. Let's start off with sand, because it's bound to be the simplest resource to, uh, to harvest. And I would do this it shouldn't matter since it's all exactly the same type of resource let's go ahead and create a road just to use this as a kind of a starting point and we'll use that as our reference okay now we do this mm, it seems as though we need to shift this and now the resource we're not really limited by our resources we're limited by space itself There we go. Maybe these things didn't matter. Well, we'll worry about the resources more. Sand. If we do that... Oh, crap. We accidentally put that up one. No, never mind. Never mind. We bring it down. We bring it down, I say. Down to the ground. There we are. Okay, good. Now those are all lined up. And so if we do something like this... You follow me? You follow me? Mm, good argument for triangles. Hexagons are constructed from triangles. That's fair and true, but most of the items in this game are blocks, too. So how would we consider that? Or do we make them just spread out and granular enough that, like, rectangles start to turn into triangles? This is getting a little existential, but, I mean, every good automation game should get a little bit existential after a while. If you've been playing it long enough and you really know what you're doing. Like, if we made just one <sighs> ass, if we made just one whole district that's entirely devoted to this. Can we turn off snapping? Oh, wow, we could just totally turn off snapping, too. Interesting. That's good. It at least gives you, a, excuse me, a lot of freedom in that regard. So now if we have this, why don't they get power? Oh, because we didn't have connected the power to them. There we go, and another one, like, there. And we just create a whole mess of that. Like, if I created this entire area just for miles, is just sand. And then we connect that back into the main bus. Dare I say it, it's a main bus. And we'll put that a little bit elevated over everything else. Now, somewhere very far away, we create... Uh, whatever it is, the other processing. Just so that those two things never collide or get mixed up with each other, you know what I mean? Hey, Drunk, how are you, my friend? Have you tried this out? Infraspace, it's so interesting. A lot of people think that when I say drunk, I just mean a drunk. No, I... Drunk on life, of course. Sorry, that... Just no context. What the hell is this road? <laughs> yeah, just make a U-turn, of course. Just make a uh, U-turn. Yeah, that's a U-turn. What are you talking about? There we go. Hmm. And then after that, we just put in all of this. Hey, I'm going to put in all of the sorts of items that make it look like I know what I'm doing. But really, this just doesn't make any sense, unfortunately. 
I think the truth is just you need to add more space between everything, and generally speaking, that makes all these games do what they're supposed to. Like, now we have just a world of concrete. Look, there it goes! There they go! Mm, but even these one-way roads... So, for example, what if we replaced even this... Let's go to level 3 on our SAT. Level 3. Is this the right... Yes, this is the way that I meant to go. So if we just create that... Does this work? Will it work? Are they creating this? Um, hmm. Oh, because this one doesn't have any power. Let's give it some power now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If I give it power... No, this doesn't comply with local zoning laws. I swear to God, I'm in zoning laws. Now, if we do this, more concrete factories. I mean, I'm not being perfect here, but let's just see. Ah, oh, it is working. It is working. It's... Actually, we didn't even really need that much. But, my god, look, we've created all of one thing. All of one thing, isn't that amazing? Can we create now a second exit out of these factories? This is another legitimate question. Uh, because if we can... Then we're going to need to comply with the way that the road goes. Because what you really should be able to do is... I mean, the, the resources go in, but they also come out. See what is I mean here? Communism? Basically, yes. Bas basically, yes. <laughs> Triple G, thank you very much for the 300 bits. Concrete World, the open new opening at Disneyland. <laughs> yes, after 2020, they knew they needed something to just cheer everyone up, so they created Concrete Land. Ah, <laughs> uh, see, this is now... I'm trying to consider how are we going to get out of this, because this really throws a wrench in my, fan in my plans. Like, for example, in Dyson Sphere... And I know I'm doing a lot of comparison to Dyson Sphere, but it's because it's the last automation game I really went overboard thinking about. You could have an input side and an output side. And if cars need to turn in here, and they need to leave the factory, then that means that each area... How... I'm just trying to think of a geometric shape to make this more efficient. Hmm, I know there's something wrong with me. There's something wrong with all of you, though, too, so we're all together in this. <laughs> we're all together in this. I know the cars are jumping. <laughs> uh, um, mm. What we really want to do is, because we don't want the sand, we, we want to be able to grab from the sand as easily as possible, get that onto a clean track of its own, you know what I mean? If it goes in and then it comes out, we need to create like a cul-de-sac for each one. How can we most efficiently do that? Is there really a shape in that? We wouldn't be a roundabout. Inputs from one end of the road, outputs at the under, other end of the road, so the inputs turn right in. Ah, so what I think what we need to do is this. The outputs turn right in and the outputs turn right out, exactly. I'm just going to do several stupid things that I think might work. Or that my intuition is telling me. My monkey brain is saying to do these things. If I do this, like if we create a slight lead up to each one. Ah, my brain was right. My brain was right. Maybe. If I do this, like I create a road leading up to it. Good, there goes the concrete. Now, all of the out... This will turn in, and it needs a place to turn out. So these won't get in the way of the things that go out. And then if we create the third dimension here... See, like, this shouldn't interfere with cars going out. Because they're just going in. Look, there they are. Doing whatever that turn is that is available to hover cars. And then we create a raised road over this. And my god, I'm about to enter Mensa. I think I'm getting my application to Mensa ready. Unfortunately, mm, well, what happens if we do this? We delete all of these. The thing is that a lot of these 
complex problems can be solved by like one simple geometry, you know what I mean? The trucks come in, but they can never leave, exactly. So what if we do this? Ideally, we want them all to be in a straight line, right? And we do another concrete factory here. The concrete wants to be there, but I won't let the concrete be there. Yes, do that. And then on the way out, all of these trucks do something like this. We have a larger road that they all link up to that is elevated. That goes like this. And for each one of these places, mm, you see what I'm doing here? This took, okay, this took a lot of, this took a lot of uh, grants to figure this out. I had to go over this with the think tank. Does this work? You see what I mean? Like each one connects in and it's perfect because there's never any collision. We've separated the in and the out. Now if we put all of this and we... Well, let's make this go on for quite a while. We'll just make this for as long as we think we might possibly need it. Um, hang on a second. Oh yes, I'm going to be getting my genius grant in a few days if I keep, if I keep playing this game. Hmm. Yes, and then there's always the upturns. Yeah, it looks like it should work, but let's test it out. Um, you know, I don't have a real system going in my head yet, but... We'll just give that room to expand, like, forever. Ideally, we can make it come out on the other side, because we just want more sand coming out there. Or what we could do is make it so that it could keep infinitely going in this direction if we wanted, and then just all of the traffic that comes the other way... Or maybe it just gets delivered back out at the front. Or something like that. We would need another row of these things, but let's just test this out to start. That connects back to there, and this goes here. And this goes over to the ground, and there we go. Okay, does that work? Let's find out. Incoming storage empty. Oh yeah, we do need sulfur as well. Ah, so at last, we have another input here. Uh, this begs another question because we have a lot of these things where we have two inputs. When is where my TED talk about my road systems? Oh god. <laughs> uh, uh, I'll get started right away. I'll get started right away. Now unfortunately we have two inputs, but the... What's really unfortunate here is that we don't have a way of getting two inputs into the thing. We have only one lane. Unless if that's some technology that we haven't unlocked yet. Let's just go ahead and look into the technology to unlock. Motors. Motor factory, large mines, highways, four lane roads, power substations, computers, large buildings, fertilizer, food processing. I don't really see any of that upcoming. All right, uh, cut down on the amount of work workers required in home technology. Yeah, I don't really see that. If I could put in more than one input into a factory, I would know how to make this work. But otherwise, right now I'm a little bit stuck because I don't know how to get two inputs efficiently going into a factory. Unless if I created a perfect ratio. I guess I could create like another thing across here and just have a separate highway that's linked up and then maybe each one is like this. Just because I, I want to keep things separated and in their own sections. But if I have these two traffic sources colliding, at least I give it a try though. I, I always feel unjustified when I don't think through these systems. But now if I were to go in again, I'd know what problems I was confronting. And I feel like I'm confronting more of the abstractions in the game. But I feel like I just took the SAT as well, which means that this is a good game. I recommend it. It's very punchy and interesting. Uh, it's still pretty deep in early access, though it seems like like they have so many other features they're adding. I'll kind of look that up again. Um, that it seems like some of these things seem like rather core systems and, you know, just kind of keep that in mind. Uh, Mimi signs, very fun ways to mess with roads, but uh, very cool. I don't know, what are your folks' thoughts on this? I'm, I'm happy I checked it out. I think it looks great, and I, I think that actually does speak volumes to a lot of games. I, I think, uh, I think they, they need to be pretty. It's satisfying to play. Um, but I, I do wish that they had that in, or if, I, if it's not there in right now, um, I'd like to see it. I did receive a key to that, so just disclosing that uh, also in, in closing. Yeah, I was hoping I could do that, but I feel like that's about as far as I can go with it.